why um, certain races were collected, why certain races were not collected, mm -hmm. and um, and whether you um, you know were um, considered um, you know one way or the other. Niggas, same thing. It all is gonna have to start with you getting back with your family. Most of us aren't ready for that. We want it, but we're not ready to put in what it's gonna take to get to that level. The only way that you're gonna be able to get to this Indians on tax status is if you get together with your bloodline family. This is just another step in the process, walking that red road. This is the process that we go about in claiming our heritage and our history. And we're one of the three families in our territory where we're from, Red Bank, that can trace our history back to the United States. I'm not talking to the, to the public out here, I'm talking to my people. This should be something that we all, as the Nabi people, celebrate. And there were different types of native. All native people didn't have straight hair. Some exactly. people had curly hair. Some people had woody hair like like uh, aboriginal people in Australia. You know, you have to keep the the you were trained. The next stop is Burnside Avenue. Today's show, I have a treat for you, Total Gang. Identify exactly where your people were prior to the U.S. colonization and then form the trust. And that's the only way it can be done. Um, you know, one way or the other, prior to 1980, it was a different way that people... So, for instance, I know in 1960, they still allowed enumerators to look at somebody and provide a race, right? <laughs> and we know, sitting here today, that that's very problematic. Any interest or thought about going Indians not taxed, right? It all is going to have to start with you getting back with your family. The question I'm most asked is how do I find my tribe? Your family is your tribe. You have to find your family's place amongst the First Nations. Self-identification. Everything that we're doing here is really about informing our people who they are so they can feel confident in it, understand it, and stop to take the steps necessary to be who they are. And when they do that, from our experience, they get treated differently. There's a different spirit they have about themselves. In my opinion, they're getting back to how we were before all of this colonization stuff. Same thing.